Well, it certainly has been an unusual year, to say the least. Wednesday, I got the chance to talk to Dr. Fauci one-on-one, -on -one, not just about the pandemic across the country, but here in Texas. He told me no state official reached out to ask about the decision to open to 100 percent or get rid of the mask mandate and called it concerning. My concern and that of my public health colleagues is that it isn't like turning a switch on and off. If you just completely put aside all public health measures, there is a risk that you will then trigger another surge, and that's not what we need right now. He said he didn't want to give Texas a grade on its overall plan and said some parts of the state did better than others, but that Texas skipped over the reopening steps officials laid out last summer. You know, there were some states, including Texas, that went a bit quickly on that. You know, when we had a surge that was really quite an important surge in the summer. The variant first found in the UK is now spreading in Texas. Fauci says it's both more contagious and causes more serious illness and that we need to look out for our own variants. But the one he's most concerned about was first found in South Africa. That is one that actually not only spreads rapidly, but it eludes some of the protection of the monoclonal antibodies and of the vaccine. Doesn't completely eliminate it for the vaccine. You still get a degree of protection but it diminishes it somewhat. The question people want to know most is when life will return to normal. Is there a level, whether it's cases or deaths or vaccination percentage, where we can say, okay, you can go back to that sporting event, you can go eat inside a restaurant with the mask off again? Does you want to see a very low uh, test positivity, you know, less than 5% if you can get there. As important or more important than that is the percentage of people who are vaccinated right now, you know, nine to 10 percent of the entire country is fully vaccinated. Every adult who wants a vaccine should be able to get one by the end of May. So the end is in sight. So there is light at the end of the tunnel and we will get through this together. I think people need to appreciate that and not be discouraged. In Dallas, I'm William Joy.